side friends on the day I'm getting this ready at my house it's really cold have you seen all the snow we had this week did you know there was a lot of it and did you know that each one of those little flakes or big flakes that came down they are unique and special there's no two alike we are the same way there's no two of us alike we all might have similar characteristics but we're not exactly the same and characteristics are what we've been talking about, about Jesus. Remember, things that make Jesus who he is. One of those is being forgiving. And he helps us be forgiving too. I'm going to go inside and get warm. Let's worship together and find out more about being forgiving. Jesus forgives us. The world is searching for an answer, a ray of hope. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a paralyzed man. This is Jesus, oh, hey -oh. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love, healed people from their sickness, and even calmed storms. The news of Jesus had spread all around and many people wanted to come and see what he was doing. No matter where Jesus went, great crowds of people would follow him. Jesus went to his own town and news spread that he was back home. Ow! Soon, the house where he was staying was packed. So Jesus began to preach God's word to the people. Meanwhile, some men heard that Jesus was in town. So they decided to take their paralyzed friend to him to be healed, for their friend wasn't able to walk. Hey, excuse me. Huh? But when they got to the house, they couldn't reach Jesus because of the crowd. Oh, well. No! So they went to the roof uh, what? and dug a hole right above Jesus. Uh, we got this. Then they lowered their friend down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Jesus saw their faith, so he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. There were some Pharisees and teachers of religious law in the room, though, and they were horrified that Jesus would say such a thing. They said to themselves, Who does he think he is? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this? Is it easier to say to this man, Your sins are forgiven, or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk? Ah, uh, what? Jesus went on to say that he would prove to them that he was allowed to forgive sins. Yeah, I'm right. And so Jesus said to the paralyzed man, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. Uh, okay. So the paralyzed man stood up and picked up his mat. The entire room was stunned as the man walked out through the crowd. All were amazed and praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this before. And they believed that God had sent Jesus with the authority to forgive sins and the ability to help the hurting. In a hopeless world, who can we turn? Hey, Northside. Here I am in Winter Wonderland. Now, I've got some friends here. You can see them right here. That's Jenny and Bailey. Now, I got kind of mad at them because they ate one of my Nutter Butter cookies. But they've been so much fun to play with that I just have to forgive them. Now, I read a little bit about forgiving, and Jesus said a lot about forgiving. He said in the, in the Lord's Prayer that we should forgive 
those that, that, that do something for against us. And they also says that we should forgive seven times, 70 times. Whoa, seven times 70. That's carry the seven, carry the, that equals a whole lot. So I've got to forgive them a lot. And I'm feeling a lot better now that I've forgiven them. And I get to go play with them because I don't have those bad feelings. So here we go. I'm going to go play with them. Hold on. Hey, hey, Bailey, here we go. Geronimo! By Laurie Keller. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store is selling potato pants. Potato knows every tater in town will want a pair. So he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. Potato says, I want a stripey pair just like the ones in the window with stripey suspenders for added stripiness.
What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about that eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store. Potato says, what's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. But yesterday was eggplant pants day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store now because of egg, that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble, Potato says. Yesterday I was walking along, minding my own potatoey business, when he ran by and pushed me right into a trash can. He says, out of my way. And there Potato goes. Potato said, if he sees me in Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store, he'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Poor Potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. They love their new potato pants. They have big pockets. They have polka dots. Potato is losing his patience, waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. He says, what's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? He says, he's got to find some. So now he says, oh, the grocery store. They have potatoes. Maybe they've got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have any potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are made for potatoes. We don't have potato pants. Well, maybe your store, you call them something more like potato sl spud slacks or tater trousers or yam chaps. Any of those ring a bell? I can't even squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. No clothing here. Just food. Potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. Don't panic. I still have time. Potato walking by says, actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. Only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will Potato do now? Potato pants! Only one pair left! Out of my way! What a brave Potato. He's not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the rack. Bam! Rip. Potato pants! Where are they? I need potato pants! Yikes. Potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. What did he do? He ripped eggplant's pants. Oh no, potato is too late. Where are they? Sorry, I got the last pair on the rack. Okay, okay, potato, let's take a moment here. Come on, deep breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, that's it. Think of pretty puffy clouds. Inhale, exhale, oh, oh forget it. It's, this is exhausting. Let it out, potato. That eggplant ruined everything. It's his fault I didn't get any potato pants. He has brand new, perfect eggplant pants and I'm totally pantless. That's not fair. Actually, his pant, eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. 
you hit him with the door and they ripped all the way up the back. You can see for yourself, here he comes. Oh, potato. It's been nice knowing you. I've been looking for you, spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. He's thinking, turn me into mashed potatoes. I'm here to apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes, Potato says. Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. He says, forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can. Uh, uh, but I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Uh, I don't know what to do. So will Potato forgive that eggplant or not? I forgive you, eggplant, and I'm sorry for ruining your new eggplant pants. Excuse me, we can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be good as new. And the sale is over, so you can have the potato pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? Like them, Potato says. I love them! Now that's is one stripy potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants, besides their stripy stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants. Potato's wearing pants. <laughs> what a silly book. But that silly book taught us something. It reminded us how important it is to forgive and to ask for forgiveness. When we tell someone that we forgive them, it takes the weight away and we are sharing the love of Jesus with them to say, I'm gonna love you like Jesus did, even though you hurt my feelings and I'm gonna forget you did. There's one person though we always need to say, please forgive me. And they always will forgive us. And that's Jesus. And when he forgives us, he forgives our sins. So this week, try to forgive. Work on that. Pray about that. This week, forgive. I'm one. He's the answer. He's the light and he'll light the But God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. First John 1, 9. And he came to save us. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for protecting us this week. Thank you for protecting us this week. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins. We love you. We love you. And give all the glory to you. And give all the glory to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you forgive us? I hope you enjoyed worship as much as I did today. Have an amazing week. I love you. Shine, shine, all over.